Hi my friends, a very good morning. What a morning, <laughs> it is amazing. Originally I had planned to go something totally different, a different place and as you got lots of snowfall all night, I wasn't able to get over a mountain road, I got stuck there and I had to return and I drove to the opposite direction and I have no idea if it is possible to get a photograph here. I mean, I, I drove this road here along, I, I'm straight beside the road, so sorry when you hear any road noises. And the thing is, I think I spotted uh, 15, um, round about 15 possibilities for rust compositions. I didn't really engage with them obviously, but uh, I just saw them for a fraction of a second. But it's so beautiful. And on this whole road, I'm not sure how long it is. 10 kilometers high, not sure, something like that, maybe. And there was no parking there possibility. No, just one in the center of the road. And yeah, this was the only thing I, I did now. I, I stopped at that parking place. And I think maybe in two kilometers in that direction uh, is one of these spots. I hope so, you know, whenever you drive, distances feel a little bit different. So I would say, let's try for that then. Fingers crossed. So we get a fantastic photograph today. So I, I came closer to the road again now, as you can see. And the reason therefore is not because it's so enchanting up here, the road. It's more because it's so difficult to find this place again, to be honest, because yeah, I mean, I just saw it for a fraction of a second and the position where I saw it from was uh, from here, up here from the road. And I think it is maybe, it could be this here. It could be this here. Yeah, it really, it really looks after that. Let's go down there. I know I said let's go down there, but I will not do it. It was stupid because I want to have a look from up here because I, I saw the scene from up here and there. This is what I, I just want to I get to this starting point where I have been already when I was uh, driving with my car and the thing I was attracted by was all these uh, little uh, conifer trees here at the ground surrounded by all the big trees here so looks a little bit like yeah family conifer or something like that <laughs> something like that but uh, yeah it just looks beautiful it's difficult to find the composition here to be honest I thought I had seen one already uh, It looks amazing. It looks just amazing. Uh, a fraction of a second. <laughs> it's not enough. Look at Shula. It's really a fantastic one. A fantastic composition. So, but these textures, all these textures here, uh, on the trees, on the on the barks, and also on the on the conifer trees, and the small one. Oh, it looks fantastic. I think I will, I will try here for something. I came down here now and I thought about a composition, I thought about a story actually. And the, the thing I got attracted to when I, when I looked into this, into, this, uh, into this scene here, when I, when I drove up here on that road, up there is the road, uh, this line here. And I, I saw all these little conifer trees and I saw all these big trees with all the snow coverage from the side. There came snow and the wind uh, came from, from that direction. And this looks really, really fantastic and I'm blown away from that. But I did quite hard to, yeah, to, to find a composition and, and, and it is all about, you know, I mentioned this already in, in one of my videos, um, our, our brain is clever. We, we, we see fractions of anything, of a scene, and the brain interpolates everything. It's, it's, it's a kind of uh, content aware feel what our brain does. And this doesn't really help you when you want to find a composition afterwards. So this is why it's not a good idea just to, to take a fraction of a second for, for looking at a composition or at a rough composition. I didn't have a choice because, as I already mentioned, I was driving in the car up there. But yeah, it's anyway good to come back then and have a look. What I got attracted now by were first, these three, uh, these three trees back there in the, in the distance and all these conifer trees in the foreground, I tried for a shot and 
yeah and uh, let me show you let me show you right now here here is the shot um i mean it's not bad it's maybe a starter it's maybe a good starter sometimes it's really a good idea when you struggle with finding a composition with struggling to, to, to see the story or something like that just pick the first one you find just frame up the composition take the shot and don't think about it if, if it's a masterpiece or not just do it and in, in this case it's not a bad shot i think i mean i would Maybe I would print it, but yeah, I would not uh, sell it in my in my in my uh, web shop or something like that. Um, but I found something much better, and I'm really really happy with this one. The one thing I'm always doing is uh, I'm thinking about which things to define this scene, and it's definitely the conifer trees, the big trees with the snow coverage, uh, with, with what what got with, with the wind from that direction, and also this this. Um, uh, clear pa uh, paths here everywhere around here uh, on the ground and I, I wanted to get uh, an interaction of all these and I found really a fantastic composition with uh, more of these trees back there in the distance it's a repetition back there I, I yeah I, I looked for, for a balance and all these things of course the things I always mention in my videos and I'm really happy with that uh, so I have these conifer trees here in the foreground I have this path here back there and all the trees here this nice scene I'm really really happy with this one as I'm really close to my foreground my camera is here so I'm really uh, close to the foreground um, it's quite difficult to get the depth of field to get everything sharp we don't need to get everything sharp in, in a woodland scene so it's snowing a little bit there's snowfall back there we don't need it to have absolutely sharp in the very distance so what I did is I focused to the, to the foreground and it gets tiny bit softer back there I'm at a 14 and it gets a tiny bit softer back there so yeah, this really adds here to get a sense of depth I don't use any filters or something like that I'm at ISO 100 and an eighth of a second and I would say let's make the click What I think is, this place has maybe much more to offer. So I let my camera here for the moment. We'll just go a little bit more into that direction. Let's, let's have a look. It's maybe possible to get something, something different. So let's go. Well, that's good. That's really good here. I, I found a composition and let me show you. It is all about these, uh, these two uh, trees here and uh, I mean, I, I will go a little bit uh, wider with uh, uh, with my focal length. I'm not able <laughs> on the phone here, so I will take a little bit more uh, from left and, and right in here. But I'm really happy here with uh, these two. It looks like, like two children uh, standing here and uh, saying any any saying or something like that. You know how on on, on weddings or so where two children are there and they they say any poem or something like that. So I'm not sure. I I, I, I just have I just have ideas. I I, I should not talk about that. So, uh, and, and in the distance we have all these trees, uh, same as before, all with the snow coverage there and also uh, up there, all of these, uh, uh, these branches up there look really, really fantastic. So I think uh, I will try for that and yeah, hopefully I think this could really work. So I really found a story that is according to that, what I've seen before up there from that road and we got a little bit snow meanwhile a little bit more a little bit more snowfall and it looks really fantastic here with this enchanting scene and it is all about these two children here in the foreground these conifer children and very important is we have also a little conifer tree at the left hand side and one at the right hand side they balance this scene a little bit and we have the same as before trees with uh, the snow coverage from the side and what, what I'm really happy about is this one tree what makes a little curve back there and everything in the, to the distance gets softer and softer and we have everywhere these uh, these conifer children back there to the distance this looks really really pretty good I'm, I'm quite blown away from all the textures in this photograph this photograph is all about textures so it's really really fantastic 
and I, I, I played around a little bit with the shutter speed to be honest because as already mentioned we, we got a little bit more snowfall so I'm in the moment not 100% sure if I will uh, make a photograph where I just uh, make ISO 100 to get no snowfall into my, into my frame just to get the softness to the distance or if I will go for something like um, I think maybe ISO 640 something like that to get a little bit more snowfall and now we get really much I would say uh, let's put down this here and let's make the click Oh wow, I'm really really blown away by this mode here. It is really amazing. We just look out there at this amazing woodland scene here with all the snow covered the barks here of the trees and uh, yeah, the, the, the little conifer trees and so on and it's really amazing. The snowfall got a little bit uh, less meanwhile so um, but yeah, anyway, I mean, the mood is anyway amazing. It's, it's not, we don't, I mean, it's easier with, uh, with a little bit of snowfall or with fog or with something like that, because you get rid of uh, distracting elements in the distance. In, in Woodland, there's so much going on, and each line, each, um, each stick, each branch, everything should make a sense in your story. Everything should add to your story, to your composition. And this is not always so easy, and uh, we have to make compromises here for sure. And it's much easier with, with snowfall, to be honest. But yeah, it's also possible without. And this scene here, just with all the snow coverage, is absolutely amazing. So I think I will not wait for more snow now, because yeah, maybe in two hours or something like that. But I think I don't need it. I really don't need it. I'm here with my camera. It was quite tricky to, uh, to find a composition here, to find a working composition without distracting elements, because this little guy here in the foreground here, or not really in the foreground, I don't use it. I didn't want to use it. I mean, it would be better if he had gone a little bit more to the distance, but yeah, he didn't uh, listen to that, what I said. So he's, uh, he's uh, where he is and we can't change it. But um, I, I photograph above it and I will not include it. I use these little uh, guys here in the foreground and this big uh, youth uh, tree here, this youth conifer, and this amazing uh, big family back there with all the conifer trees. And yeah, I mean, I'm speechless. There's nothing more I can explain here. You just see, you just see how, how beautiful it is, isn't it? It is amazing. However important here in this composition is uh, we need to get balance. And I use this uh, a conifer tree at the right hand side here to balance my scene to all these uh, thick sticks with lots of contrast. We get lots of contrast to this uh, snow coverage of the barks and these dark uh, uh, trees here. And, and, and this really adds here and we have this uh, kind of triangle what leads you back to the distance and it gives us a fantastic sense of depth. Also uh, due to the size of uh, all these uh, little conifer trees there we have some, they are a little bit bigger there. Um, I mean, yeah, they are really small, but they look a little bit bigger than the next two who come there, but are already uh, small ends on it. And we get this amazing sense of depth to the distance. And this is really something that adds to a woodland scene like that. Same as for all photographs today, I didn't use any filters or something like that. So from the technical side, it's really, yeah, it's really easy. It's just a question about where, where you focus. And in Woodland, I always try to focus uh, at that point where I get enough sharpness to the foreground, but not all too much to the distance. It's a little bit of trying here, to be honest. So I would say, let's make the click. And yeah, quite interesting is um, the first photograph, I, I took it from, from back there. Just, uh, I think, 
eight meters from here, something like that. And my second photograph, uh, I took it from uh, back there. I think, yeah, maybe nine meters back there, something like that. And now I'm here. So it's really a good idea to, to stay at a place where you have, uh, yeah, lots of characters you can play with. You can think about stories. It doesn't make sense to hike around 10 kilometers anywhere here in, in the woodland. I mean, it's also possible you can do it if you, if you like this. Um, I have little troubles with my knee. It's, it's already much better than it was, but it's still a problem. And I don't want to walk around all too much, but also in, in point of view of photography. It's really a good idea to stay uh, here and, and, and to think about composition. So I can really uh, recommend that. I'm so sorry for the road noises here. Well, I found one more composition and I'm really, really happy with this one. As I already mentioned, it's really important to think about what is it, what defines this scene? What is it why I, I actually, uh, what, what triggered me to, to, get, to go here? Why did I want to photograph here? Because as I already mentioned in the beginning, I, I was driving on that road up there and I had just a fraction of a second just to look here and there was something what attracted me. And uh, think about that and, and think about the options, how you can tell this story here. And when you engage then, because a, a fraction of a second is definitely not enough. When you engage here, and I think I'm already here for two and a half hours or something like that. And you really think deep into it, you find so many compositions that I really, really promise you. And what I found here is, I found these amazing trees here. I mean, <laughs> some of, the, of them uh, I photographed already before, just from the other side. I came around here now from 90 degree and I'm photographing in that direction. We have a better contrast now from this snow uh, coverage here from the right hand side. And at the left one we have, uh, yeah, we have, have this uh, back to see and at the right hand one just the snow coverage. We have these conifer trees, it's baby trees here in the foreground. And a little bit of, of um, yeah, sticks there and where on the ground and yeah, and the the distance it gets soft we got a little bit snowfall again and yeah, I'm also not 100% sure maybe I will use it because we have one tree quite close to our foreground and we definitely have to focus stick here by the way so one focus point is at the left hand tree at uh, the left hand side here and, and one focus point at the closest tree because it's really really close uh, let me let me show you so uh, this, this tree is our first here in our composition it's really close I can nearly touch it and the others are around about I would say um, nine ten meters uh, from the camera position something like that ISO 320 and F9 a fifth of a second, this really works fantastically here with the snow. It comes a little bit from the right hand side and yeah, this really looks fantastic. This scene is absolutely amazing. So um, one thing I also uh, got sure that all the trees I took in also in the very distance, we don't think at this uh, at, at the first sight. When you just look at the trees, oh, these trees are beautiful. Also, there are the baby trees back uh, down there, but there are also other trees in the forest. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> obviously, and also consider these. Also consider the trees in the very distance, that they are, that they are balanced and so on, that there is enough space to the left hand side or to the, to the, to the borders and so on, to the edge. Um, this really adds to your composition. No filters again, and I would say, let's make the click. That's really, really fantastic out here. And the fraction of a second is definitely not enough to check out the place, but it is enough to get sure it is beautiful here. There is something I'm attracted to. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please give me a thumb up and thank you so much for watching. See you next Saturday. Bye.